All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. So these were the first cards that popped out. So obviously someone here from your past definitely gets jealous by others around you. Um, this person could be actively creeping you online because I'm getting something about people flirting with you online or they see you posted up with other people. Like you could be posting pictures and um, videos and whatnot and it's like you're hanging out with other people and they get jealous. So this person's not showing you that. I miss you regardless of how things may seem. They're not showing you this. That even though they're not talking to you, they're not giving you any type of reaction, they do miss you. Okay, so this is your person that you're not in contact with. Okay, give me one or two cards for my collective. Thank you. Yeah, this, this was a very passionate connection. I'm getting there was a lot of intimacy, uh, a lot of like passion emotionally, physically. So there was definitely, there's definitely a soul connection here. There's definitely some type of connection that you share. And I don't think they've seen that in anyone else. All right, give me more messages for my collective. Thank you. Okay, they want you to wait for them. They could be working on themselves and they want you to wait for them. Yeah, they're lying about their feelings. They still want you. Give me more messages for my collective. Okay, so you could have rejected this person. Something about rejected. Some of you guys are rejecting them. This is not for everyone, but some of you are going to reject them when they rush back. Your silence. Yeah. Okay, so not all of you, but oh my god. That's embarrassing, y'all. I feel like you guys are furious. Okay, some of you watching, you're absolutely furious. And there is no way in hell you're going to rush back to this person or allow them in. So some of you, yes, you're going to reject them. Others of you, you are not. You won't even give this person a reaction. Like, that's cold, okay? So yeah, this person is rushing back. Give me more messages for my collective. Make the card flip or fall out, please. I miss you laying on me while you sleep. So this is what they're wanting you to know. Let me do 10 card spread. We're going to do a 10 card spread in regards to how they feel, how you're feeling. Give me messages for my collective for this connection. Give me messages for my collective regarding this connection, please. All right, so we got the death card. Yeah, this definitely came to an end here. It was probably very sudden. This is the Nine of Cups. This is the Seven. I don't know why that was upside down. Seven of Cups. We got the Devil. Yeah, this person had options or they were toxic in this relationship in general. There could have been a third party or they were just simply toxic or immature. They were problematic. We have the Hermit. All right, give me a second. You started finding happiness once you left this person. You, it was very hard for you at first, but then you realized like there was a lot more beauty to be found during this separation. You feel very abundant. You feel very satisfied. Um, or it's like you're wishing for this to come together. You, you are wishing for some type of uh, breakthrough in this relationship. Um, I feel like this person fantasizes, excuse me, they fantasize about you. They have very sexual thoughts about you as well. Seven of Cups, it's like this person literally fantasizes about you. This could also be their energy, like they wish for you 
to come back to them. They feel very alone with that hermit card. And like the fact that they're saying, wait for me, I feel like they're trying to work on themselves. They want to transform with that death card. They want to transform and they want to, um, they want you to see a different side of them. They want to impress you. Like, look, I've improved on myself and I want you to see that type of thing. And all they can think about is these happy memories that they shared with you. They're heavily thinking about you, like memories, sharing a, sense, a sincere communication, like sincere um, communications that you had with them. They always think about that. All those deep um, conversations that you had with your person, they still think about that. So they're really wishing for that warm reunion. Yeah, they view you as someone who's like really abundant. Okay, so you're very ambitious. There's You're the center of attention when it comes to them. Uh, they are admiring you. You're full of energy. You're very daring, confident, charismatic. You are the like, you're the full package. Okay, so I feel like you embody this type of energy. No one, no one can top you when it comes to that. When it comes to those traits. Yeah, you're very free spirited. You keep it moving. You're energetic. You're loving. You have a sense of humor. You're very enthusiastic. You're basically like this person's energizer bunny. Like you give this person energy just by being yourself. Okay, so. So you can expect some type of communication here. This is like news coming in. This is your person coming in, okay? They feel like very, they feel very left out. They feel absolutely left out. They feel like um, you are a missed opportunity, basically. They feel like, like a loser, basically. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I'm getting from that five of pentacles, two of pentacles, five of pentacles. Um, they feel very left the fuck out, okay? So... That's up to you guys. It's your decision if you want them. It's here on the table. And you can expect communication. Because I definitely see some type of reunion here that is about to happen. So that's your love reading. And I'll see you in the next love reading.